Continuing on, trachea is going to divide into bronchi. Bronchus is singular. So we've got one tracheal tube. It's going to come and divide into two bronchi, a right and a left primary bronchi. I prefer the term primary just for myself instead of main because it goes primary, secondary, tertiary um, instead of main, lobar, segmental. This primary bronchi are going, is going to divide again. So it's going to split into three on the right side. That's because there are three lobes over here. It's going to split into two on this side. These are the secondary bronchi. There's two lobes over here. Why are there only two lobes here? Well, what is in that little space right here? The heart. A little bit offset, closer to the left, um, further on the left. So there's only two lobes on the left side of the, the lungs, the left, yeah. Okay, secondary bronchi are going to further divide into tertiary bronchi. A bunch is a bunch of those, and you can see that here as well. Um, so here are the, the tertiary, this level where there's um, a whole bunch. Here is two secondary. Here is a whole bunch of tertiary. So a whole bunch of tertiary, whole bunch of branching on both sides. Um, you don't, I don't know how many tertiary branches there are. Tertiary bronchi, a lot. And maybe know how to spell. There's going to be continued branching after those tertiary bronchi um, until eventually we get to terminal, the end. So this branching is increasing surface area. Branching, branching, branching. Um, terminal, actually, I'm sorry, terminal bronchioles. Bronchioles are little bronchi. So the bronchi divide into bronchioles. I can also add that here. Let's actually, let's do this. Terminal bronchioles. Those terminal bronchioles ultimately end in respiratory bronchioles and then alveoli. By this time, we've gotten from one trachea to millions of alveoli from this repeated branching, kind of like a tree branch. I want to make sure I, I don't forget to say it. There's alveolar ducts open up to the alveoli. So alveolar ducts. You've seen this picture before, right? So here's the same thing. These respiratory bronchioles and alveoli. This right here would be an alveolar duct. These are where external respiration occurs. Prior to that, so the main bronchi, that primary, these two, in this case, secondary bronchi, the tertiary bronchi are all dividing until they get to those bronchioles. There's cartilage surrounding all the way down for those conducting passageways. That's what this blue stuff is. So cartilage surrounds most of that conducting passageway. Um, and then we've got some smooth muscle that's going to be present um, on some of the bronchioles. I'm just gonna add that now. That's gonna be important for bronchiodilation and constriction. So changing the resistance in these airways to allow air to flow in and out more easily. Um, we'll come back to that regulation of ventilation. And then ultimately we get down to the respiratory membranes. There is no longer gonna be smooth muscle or cartilage layers. It's just gonna be that simple squamous epithelium 
to allow for diffusion. Don't want to have anything surrounding that, surrounding that. So this is actually what I showed previously as well. Um, I drew this for you, the conducting portion or zone and the respiratory portion or zone. 